Hi, Will from Sound on Sound here at the NAMM show in Anaheim with Klaas from Bitwig. Klaas, how are you doing? Well, as you can hear in my voice, it's the third day of the show, but I'm doing fine. So Excellent. we're here to show Bitwig Studio version 2.3, which is our new update. And we have quite a lot of uh, exciting stuff going in, in it. So. so what's new in the 2.3 update? Well, we have uh, quite a lot collection of nice things. We have uh, time, time signature automation, so you can actually change your time signature during the song. Mm -hmm. A lot of people wanted that. And we have quite a bunch of new time searching algorithms included. And you have a lot of control over how they're playing back. So it's a really nice sound design experience to use that. And we also have an instrument selector, which is an interesting device for quickly switching between different patches. Mm -hmm. And we have voice stacking, which allows you to modulate separate voices separately to create really unique unison effects. And we have our new synth phase four, which is a, a phase manipulation synth. It's a merger between phase modulation and phase distortion, as used in the DX7 and the Casio CS series. Okay, well, let's jump in then, have a look. Yeah, all right. So this is phase four, and what's unique about it is that it's a merger of phase distortion and phase modulation. So phase distortion is what's used in the Casio CZ series. Basically allows you to take a sine waveform, you're always based on that, and using phase distortion to generate other waveforms. So I can just shape this into a sawtooth, like this. But what's interesting is if you apply this and phase modulation at the same time, they kind of cross modulate with each other. So. The merger of these synthesis methods is what makes the combination interesting. So that's really a great device for sound design. And it's really high quality in terms of sound, so you get away with a lot of modulation without sounding bad. I have some bass sound here for some of that just very tight and nice. So we also have new time stretching modes in version 2.3. One of them is cyclic which is inspired by the very earliest time searching algorithms from as that was an offline process in samples in the 90s. You might recognize that effect. So it's hardly transparent sounding, but it's a very interesting effect if you make extreme stretches. We also have the, the Elastic Pro algorithm, which also Apart from sounding very nice, uh, for example, also allows you to have performance control on each sample. It's just a very interesting sound design option. Thanks, Klaus. So how much is this going to cost then, and when will it be available? Well, it's part out of our upgrade plan, so uh, if you already have version 2, you will be getting it for free. So it's going to be available in the end of February. And we're currently starting beta testing this week, so we start on Monday already. Okay, awesome. Thanks very much. Yeah, thank you, Will.